requires um, water testing for polluted areas. And I believe, Scott, can you expand yeah. on this, son? Yeah. Sandville 1100, mm -hmm. three short bill, just mm -hmm. authorizes anyone with a private water system or multifamily water system Enable them to notify the Department of Health if they think their water supply is contaminated. Yes. Uh, they require the Department of Health to test their water within three business days. Uh, provide a report. It says they provide appropriate uh, funding for the county of the South Coast County for your activity. So I, I don't know how that's directed to the It's not a mandated requirement. It, it does mandate the Department of Health to test individual water supplies that they are requested to. And uh, Mr. Chair, Tom Moss is here from, my, from the Department of Health, but I think, Mr. Moss, is, don't forget frequent, frequent requests from along with the Pucci. Um, as it comes down, some of the people who live close to it have their wells tested all along. That, that is correct. Or not all along, but fairly frequently because they have problems with it. That is correct. In fact, Mr. Moss, it comes to our last board meeting and we discussed it. Just briefly there, how it might so impact the county health department trust function. Is there a corresponding house bill? As far as I know, there's not a corresponding house bill in the United States. It just gives us a, a link to go to if you're wanted it's on I can pass this around. Um, I can. From, uh, from Director Mary Walker. Yeah, okay. so I just wanted to share that right. information with everyone. Because Senator Bradley and Representative Bobby Payne both have been helping me quite a bit on this. Okay. And, so uh, right. and from this email, Senator Bradley said he would get back with us and, um, and, and help us all he could. Pollution as physical, biological, chemical, or radiological substance or matter in the air, land, or waters of the state. Because I, I as a person who tests water frequently, um, I would want to know a little bit more about, like, there's a $15 fecal coliform test. There's, or E. coli, rather, E. coli. There's, there's, you know, what kind of testing would they be responsible for? Um, you're talking about DNA testing on the river and sending it to some other state in Tennessee or something to test the or the, the, the problem in the Wikipedia. Right. And one thing we discussed with Mr. Moss is the Department of Health only tests for certain things. That's right. And how far will the state or would this bill want things expanded and it would go outside of what DOH could do. Mr. Moss, have you received any additional information on it? Well, I'll tell you, Bob did an analysis of the bill, so he may be able to speak a little more to that. The analysis hasn't been vetted by the governor's office yet, but what we know is um, right now we test for um, thousands of bacteria samples statewide uh, every year in private wells as well as uh, um, small public wells. And then uh, we test for thousands of chemicals around pollution sites like uh, uh, pesticide use areas, uh, leaking gas tanks, uh, and uh, dry cleaners, other things like that. And now the, you've heard of the Ocala Fire College with some of those uh, perfluorinated compounds. So the bill would cover all of those things, and uh, it, uh, it's going to force us to expand uh, with quite a few more people, quite a few, quite a bit more lab equipment, and, and quite a budget. So we've told them that we don't know what will happen next. Well, I just wanted to present that if Commissioner Reddick provided us for discussion. 
for what's out there right now. Don't know. Do you know if there's a companion bill or not yet? No, no. Okay. Not today. All right. Good. All right. So that's all the information of items I have. Scott, do you have anything? No, sir. So if you would, let's go around. Any other board member have any questions, concerns? Kind of where we're going to go from this point. Let's talk about next meeting.